Last February, PE teacher Peter Frank landed at Melbourne Airport, seeing eye dog Anya by his side. Just like he'd done dozens of times before, he joined the rank and approached the next available car before he was allegedly turned away. And he said, no, you, you have to book an Uber pet. And I said, well, she's not a pet. And um, I said, she's an assistance animal. And what you're doing is actually breaking the Anti-Discrimination Act. And uh, he point blank refused, wouldn't let her in. Then he says it happened again with a second driver. That one was a bit worse. The driver simply had his window down and said no and drove off. It was a, a pretty humiliating experience happened in front of a lot of people. Under anti-discrimination laws, Uber drivers must accept riders with assistance animals. Frustrated, Peter approached an Uber representative to advocate for himself. You work for Uber and you don't know what the laws are in relation to discrimination against those with disabilities and assistance animals. I mean, well, that is surely your job. He says the experience scarred him and he's on edge every time he orders a car. A 2022 survey by Vision Australia found 64% of handlers had been refused service by a taxi or rideshare service. Peter is suing Uber Australia and Melbourne Airport. He's seeking compensation, an apology and change. Obviously change within the dog guide handlers community, but change for, for disabilities regardless. We would like the tribunal to say that Uber's conduct was unlawful and make an order saying that they can't keep doing this kind of thing. Uber Australia says it takes riders' legal right to travel with assistance animals seriously. In April of this year, it introduced mandatory training for new drivers and, under harsh new penalties, drivers who break the policy twice will be banned from the platform. In a statement, Melbourne Airport says it is sorry for Mr Frank's experience, saying it was unacceptable. The matter has been filed in Victoria's civil and administrative tribunal. Samantha Johnshire, ABC News, Melbourne.